This is a little song to say hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, welcome to Drinking Beer. I'm your host, John Plunkett. Today is part two of the four part West Coast IPA showdown. Today, we're sampling Alesmith IPA. Check it. I was looking forward to this, uh, actually, because I'd heard a lot about Alesmith online and their distribution reach is so small that I couldn't possibly get it in the state of Illinois. So it was basically up to either me traveling to the West Coast, which I haven't done in like 25 years. Um, it was either that or somebody from the West Coast send it to me. I was lucky to find someone who, another beer enthusiast through YouTube, who uh, understood my passion for beer and uh, wanted to help me out because he was a fan of the video. So for that alone, I say thank you. For going through the legwork to send me these beers, I say double thank you. I'm very, very happy. So I finally, after all these years, finally get to try Alesmith India Pale Ale. And I couldn't be happier. <laughs> I prefer Alesmith. I just saw that on the bottle, I'm sorry. I thought that was kind of funny. From Beer Advocate and a lot of other uh, people I've seen, like other reviewers, they claim that this is a really, really great IPA. So I had to try it for myself, being a big fan of IPAs. So why wait? Let's get to it. Here comes the pour. It looks a lot like stone, which is not a big shock. <laughs> I know I went this, ooh, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to IPAs, good IPAs, they all kind of generally look very similar. It doesn't smell the same though. It smells like an IPA, but it doesn't smell exactly the same. I'd hate to say it, but it almost smells like a ranger. Let's hope not. I got it in the glass. Now I want to drink it and give you my opinion. Bring the scale back and uh, see how it fares from there. So here we go. Ale Smith, India Pale Ale. Cheers. It's unique. It's not stank. That's that's good. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't that because I was hope I was fearing it was going to be like Ranger, but uh, it's uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's as bitter as Stone IPA. It's uh, definitely got a different citrus twist to it. It's not as balanced as Stone, so I can't really I can't say it's better than Stone because I, mean, I guess it all depends on on taste really. Which, you know, that's the case. It's all these reviews. Anyone's opinion. It's all subjective. You should know that. I can't explain shit. So that was my review of Ale Smith India Pale Ale. Only available in San Diego, California, or other regions of California. It's not, too, it's not bad. It's definitely not. I mean, it's great IPA. It's just... I'm trying... I'm doing like a... I'm doing a showdown of like the best IPAs, so <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm still holding out reservations. I mean, so far, as far as the scale goes, the sleeper cell has said, you know, it, it was basically Pliny the Elder, Blind Pig, Alesmith, and then Stone IPA. But the next up is Russian River, so let's see how that fares. Should be interesting. In part three of my four part West Coast IPA Showdown. Be sure to check out more. And uh, my name is John Plunkett. This has been Drinking Beer. And until we meet again, happy trails and keep drinking. Hey, folks, here's a story about Minnie the Moocher. She was a low-down, huge coochie. She was the roughest, toughest, frail. Minnie had a heart as big as a whale. Heidi, 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 ho! Heidi, Heidi!